Philippians chapter 5 po tayo ngayon sa magang ito. Our subject is about dying without instruction. Dying without instruction. Sabi po sa Proverbs chapter 5 verse 23, He shall die without instruction. And in the greatness of his folly, he shall go astray. He shall die without instruction. So like I said, this is about dying without instruction. Alam niyo po ba na ang Bible, kung kaya natin ang kahulugan ng bawat letra, in accordance with our subject, Sabi nila ang Bible daw ay basic instruction before leaving earth. B-I-B-L-E Basic instruction before leaving earth. So, alam na natin anong ibig sabihin ng ating subject na dying without instruction. Dying without the Bible. According to this verse, the undisciplined person, the one who turns away from instruction, is subject to death as an eventual result. You see, unrestrained sinning endangers the body and soul. It inflicts damage on the person who indulges in a wicked lifestyle. This torment is physical, mental, and spiritual. Discipline keeps a person's well-being strong and healthy. But fools lack discipline and therefore greatly increase the risk of fatalities or eventually death itself. Kaya napakamahalaga po na tayo ay may disiplina. Sabi nga po dati nung panahon ng Marshalo, sa ikaunlad ng bayan, disiplina ang kailangan. Sa ikalalago po natin sa ating spiritual na buhay, disiplina ang kailangan. Sa ikaliligtas ng bawat tao, kailangan nilang matuto sa salita ng Diyos at makilala si Kristo Yesus. At tanggapin nila ang sinasabi ng Diyos sa kanyang salita. Solomon points out here that a lack of instruction is a choice to live without the danger of being facing death unprepared. You see, it is the greatness of one's folly when he go astray. The word astray in this verse is from the same Hebrew word for captivated. Foolishness captivates people, leading them to do whatever their sinful desires dictate. Para po tayong inaalipin ng ating mga makasalanang pagnanasa. At maliban na tayo po'y tumanggap ng turo ng salita ng Diyos, may hirapan po tayong kumawala sa pagkakagapos at sa pagkakaalipin natin sa ating mga sinful desires. By pursuing to ignore instruction from the Word of God, men would wander away from God and may never find the way back. Kaya po, ang napakaganda po sa salita ng Diyos, tinutulungan po tayo nito makapanumbalik sa Diyos. Yung daan na kung saan tayo ay nali, pwede tayong manumbalik sa pamagitan po ng instruction from the Word of God. Kaya nga po sabi, all scriptures given by inspiration is profitable 
for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, that the man of God may be perfect or complete, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Paano makukumpleto ang isang tao, ang buhay niya, paano makukumpleto without the word of God? At kung hindi mo alam ang patutunguhan ng iyong kaluluwa kapag ka ikaw ay mamamatay, hindi kulang sa iyo. Maring you have all the riches of the world, maring you are successful in your career, maring uh, you are living a happy family life, pero kung mamamatay ka at hindi mo alam pagpupunta ang iyong kaluluwa, may kulang pa rin sa iyo. At yan ang katiyakan sa kaligtasan. And only by heeding the basic instruction from the Word of God can man know concerning His eternal life. Sabi nga ni Jesus Christ, diba? Search the Scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. All of us are born in a state of ignorance and darkness as to spiritual things. Lahat po tayo, ano po tayo eh? Wala tayong alam. At tayo ay nangangapa sa kadidiman pagdating sa mga spiritual na bagay. Kaya nga tama lamang pag tinatanong natin yung mga unsaved, saan pupuntang yung kaluluwa pag kayo namatay, ang sagot nila, walang nakakaalam na. Tama, walang nakakaalam. Sa mga taong nasa kadidiman. Pero sa pumumagitan ng liwanag ng salita ng Diyos, pwede nating maalaman. At, and now we are enjoying that knowledge. If you are in Christ, you know for sure that when you die today, you will go to heaven because we heeded the instruction from the Word of God. Therefore, all of us should carefully consider the instruction from the Word of God. All of us need the Bible daily to sustain us with our spiritual growth. Hearing the Word of God is God's outed means to bring men to the saving knowledge of himself and lead them to their spiritual growth and fulfillment. Hindi po natin pwedeng ihiwalay ang salita ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Hindi lamang para tayo'y maligtas at makatiyak ng ating patutunguhan sa langit at hindi sa impyerno, kundi upang sa buhay na ito sa lupa, matutunan natin paanong habang tayo ay naglalakbay at patungo sa langit, ma-enjoy natin ang biyahe. The neglect of simple instruction from the Word of God is the ruin of many a person, both in spiritual and physical life. Yan ang dalawang mundong ginagalawan natin. Eh. Yung physical at yung spiritual. At sa parehong mundong ito, kailangan natin ng instruction from the world. People who live viciously die desperately. They pass from the error, errors and works of darkness to the place of utter and eternal darkness. They die without instruction and go astray and perish in the greatness of their folly without God and without hope. Yan ang buhay ng mga taong walang kaalam-alam sa salita ng Diyos. Kaya, importante mga kapatid sa Panginoon, na as much as we can, as we have therefore opportunity, sabi ni Apostle Paul, as we have therefore opportunity, let us tell them about Jesus Christ. Let us speak the word of God. Kasi hindi mo alam, baka ikaw na lang yung last frontier or yung last person na mariringgan niya ng instruction from the Word of God. Consider the following. A man can act no better than his principle dictate to him. Importante yan. In, maintindihan. Magpas ang isang tao sa nanalaman niyang prinsipyo kaya importante matuto siya ng prinsipyo ng salita ng Diyos. Kahit anong sabihin mo magbago ka na, kahit anong sabihin mo umayos ka na, that person cannot change because he cannot act no better than his principles dictate to him. 
But with the Word of God being fed to our soul, with the Word of God being used to lead us in the right way, as we have discussed yesterday, nagkakaroon po tayo ng direction sa buhay. Nababago yung ating mga sitwasyon. Natatama yung ating mga disposisyon. Pangalawa, for want of being grounded in the Bible doctrines, people are easily led into errors of heresy. Kung hindi tayo ang magtuturo sa mga mahal natin sa buhay o sa mga kaibigan natin ng salita ng Diyos, kung paano tayo rin naman ay naturuan, eh, may ibang magtuturo dyan. At ay ang mga heresy, yung mga errors ng mga religions. And that is why, nakakalungkot, ano? From one religion to another, ang isang tao na convert from error to error. Blind leading the blind. Hindi po sila natutuwid at natatama. Sapagkat, ang naituro sa kanila ay ang lumipat lamang ng reliyon at ang magpalit lamang ng paniniwala. Pero hindi naituro sa kanila ang pagka-Diyos ni Cristo at ang kanyang pagiging isang tunay at taming tagapagligtas. Kaya mapalad ka kung ikaw alam mo, kaluluwa. Mapalad ka kung ikaw tiyak mo sa langit kaputin ka. May nagmalasapit sa'yo. May nagturo sa'yo. May nagbigay sa'yo ng instruction. Meron tayong pinamimigay na gospel tracts, di ba? Naalala nyo yung four simple plan of salvation. That's basic instruction before leaving earth. Paano mo matitiyak ang pagpunta sa langit? So let us not neglect our duty, Christian, to do the same. To hand out a track, to reach out to a soul. Hindang magbigay kayo ng gospel track, malaking bagay na. So that people will not die without instruction. And maaaring hindi mo alam, yung mabigyan mo ng gospel track, backslider pala. At mga pagka nabigyan mo, ma, alam mo yun, mabagbag ang damdami at maalala niya kasi siya pala ay isang ligtas at siya ay magbalik loob sa Panginoon. So, let us be grounded in the Word of God and let us help others to be grounded also. I- i-proliferate po natin. Alam nyo, yung, yung mga yung mga maling, ano, yung mga leftists at yung mga iba pang mga ideologies, di ba? Ang, ang galing nila magpakanap ng doktrina nila, ang galing ng kanilang mga instruction sa kanilang paniniwala. Tayo mga kristyano, kulelat eh. Kasi, oh, may Facebook, may social media, may Instagram, at kung ano-ano pa. Pero ano natin? Kung ano-ano lang rin. Instead na gamitin natin itong mga avenues na ito to proliferate basic instruction from the Word of God. Basic lang. Kung tayo magtalo-talo ng doktrina sa Bible, mga kristyano, mga pastor, nagpapagalingan pa sa doktrina eh. Alam mo naman, alam na alam talaga lahat ng katotohanan sa Bible. Eh, imbis na yung mga nanonood at nagbabasa ng mga unbeliever, matuto, lalong nalilito. Lalong nalilito. Kaya, ang ipakalat po natin at ipamudmud po natin sa social media ay yung basic instruction. So that before leaving earth, people may come to know who Jesus Christ is. At sila po ay magkaroon ng katiyakan sa kaligtasan. Tandaan nyo, kaya nyo alam na inyong patutunguhan bago kayo mamatay. Alam nyo sa langit kayo tutunguhan. Because somebody cared enough to share to you basic instruction from the Word of God. You see, and taught in the Scriptures, people are turning away from the true Christ and is being deceived to believe foolish lies. Hindi kasi sila natuturuan eh. Walang nagmamalasakit, walang kaibigan na nagsasabi, walang kamag-anak na nakatitiyak naman ng kaligtasan na nagbabahagi. So, anong mangyayari sa mga tao ito? They will die without instruction. They will turn away from Jesus Christ because they are being deceived to believe foolish lies. At tayo mga Kristiyano, nakakahiya tayo kapag isang araw 
Kumayo tayo sa harap ng Panginoon at wala man lang tayong naakay na kaluluwa sa Kanya. Tandaan po natin, the God who sent His Son to die on the cross for our sins wanted each of every sinners to turn from their sins and receive Christ for their salvation. Napaka-importante po na lagi nating pinagmumuni-munian in John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. It's so simple and yet many complicated the simple plan of salvation and many are dying without instruction. So, in the greatness of their folly, many shall go astray and they shall die without instruction. But blessed are they who have friends and relatives who cared enough that once they found the way because of their faith in Christ, they would rather share it and tell others about it. Ganon dapat eh. Oh. Abutin natin yung ating mga mahal sa buhay. Abutin natin yung ating mga kaibigan. Kung hindi mo masabi, hindi mo masyadong alam, sabihin mo lang, come and see. Ganon lang. Oh, eh si Kuya RJ, hindi naman namin na witnessan ng diretso yan. Kasi <laughs> nasave kami September 19, 1982. Oh. Tapos napapansin niya every Sunday, umaalis na kami, mupunta kami sa Baptist Church. Oh. Sabi niya, sa kayo pupunta? Hindi pa namin alam yung paliwanan. Bago pa lang kami. So anong sabi namin? Hindi ka, sama ka. Come and see. Oh. Tapos doon, nasave siya. Alain niya yun, nasave. <laughs> Eh, isan, akala natin itong taong ito, hindi ito masasave, hindi na magbabago ito, masama ito, hindi na, wala na itong pag-asa. Oh, the same thing yung sa akin, di ba? Yung sinashare ko sa inyo, no? classmate ko na di man lang ako sinera, di man lang ako ganda yung gospel tax, di man lang ako yung invita. Kasi tingin niya, hindi ako masasave. Eh. But everyone has a chance and everyone deserves to know and to find out that Jesus Christ saves. Kailangan lang tayo, mga Kristiyano. People will die without instruction. It's just the same as saying that people are dying and going to hell without a soul winner. Without a soul winner. That is why it is important that we become wise enough as the Bible declares He that winneth souls is wise. So, tingnan po ninyo, ano ba ang kamangmangan ng mga tao? They deny boldly the existence of God because they believe a world fatherless and forsaken, itself eternal, but the product is by chance. By their creed, they profess to be And at least they know the very God whose existence they so madly deny. In the greatness of their folly, they arrogate to themselves the very perfections of divinity. God is denied. Eh, mga tao, di ba? Kung makaasta, alam mo sila ang Diyos. Pero yung tunay na Diyos, wala. Bakit? Kasi nga, walang nagtututo. Walang nagsasabi. Walang nagpapatutuo. Walang nagtetestify. Be bold enough to stand before these people. Like the Apostle Paul, when he said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Or I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. Ba't ka mahihiya? Ba't ka matatakot to share the Word of God? Hindi naman manggagaling sa'yo yung power. Hindi naman manggagaling sa'yo yung lakas. 
Yung Ibanghelyo itself is the power of God to break men free from their self-deception and from the power of sin. Magugulat ka na lang. Magkakaroon pa na ng epekto sa buhay ng tao, pinagbahagi na mo. Because you have given him instruction from the word of God. Ano sabi ng Diyos? Is not my word like a fire and a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? Kahit anong tigas ng puso niya, kahit anong lamig ng puso niya, mag-iinit at magbabasag yan sa Panginoon. Manunumbalik yan. It, it just take a soul winner for one person to get closer to God. Share po natin ang salita ng Diyos. Each of us, maging instructor po tayo ng Word of God. You see, people, they deceive themselves to believe about the existence of a supreme being but won't believe the scriptures. Is may mga ganyan tao, di ba? Naniniwala naman sila sa existence ng supreme being. Merong isang ala o merong isang Diyos na kataas-taasan o kung sino man yan, someone up there, sinasabi nila. But, but when it comes to believing that this God has a scripture and the scripture is telling them about the truths of God, doon sila nagkakaproblema. Pero tayo, huwag tayo magkaroon ng problema doon. Eh, kasi pastor, ayaw nilang maniwala sa Bible. Given na yun eh. Pero huwag mong depensahan ng Bible. Basta ituro mo ang Bible. And let the Bible do its wondrous work. Sabi nga po ng Panginoon, di ba? Sa Hebrews. The Word of God is quick and powerful. Alam mo ba yung quick? Alive. The Word of God is alive. And pag yan sinambit mo, pag yan binitawan mo, pag yan narinig ng tao, buhay yan na gagawa. Sabi, piercing unto the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of God. Yan mismo yung tatagro sa puso ng isang tao at kikilo sa buhay niya kahit hanggang sa pagtulog niya nangungusap sa pamagitan ng banal na spirito. Kaya po, huwag natin ipagdamot ang salita ng Diyos. Pamahagi po natin. You see, people are deprived of the truth of the Bible and live as if they know everything about life and death but no assurance of eternity. Such a life is lost in sin and would perish without. Deprived sila ng salita ng Diyos eh. Itong pandemic na ito, ang daming nawala ng trabaho, ang daming nawalan ng kabuhayan, ang daming nawalan ng kalusugan. Ano magbibigay sa kanila ng pag-asa? Ano magbibigay sa kanila ng tapang upang lumaban sa buhay? At ano magbibigay sa kanila ng kumpiyan na harap sa kamatayan? Ay di ang salita ng Diyos lamang na nasa sa iyo, Kristiyano. Nasa sa puso mo. Nasa sa kamay mo. Baka. It's a shift when a Christian keeps silent when he could speak up. People are not just losing wealth and people are not just losing heritage. They are losing their souls. They are dying without hope. Huwag natin silang i-deprive. Share the word of God. Because people are dying without instruction. Sabi ng Panginoon, siya'y narito sa lupa. If you believe not that I am He, you shall die in your sins. Yun po ang malungkot sa pandemic na ito. Yung ang tao ay namamatay na hindi ligtas. 
At ang mas malungkot, yung taong namatay na hindi ligtas, may kamag-anak, may kaibigan, na nagsasabing siya'y ligtas, siya'y nakatitiyak sa langit. Pero hindi ka binahagi. Ipinagdami. Sana po, maging instructor tayo ng Word of God. Not just the pastors. Not just the preachers. Not just who are teaching in Sunday school. Pero tayong lahat. Kahit yung mga bata, pwede mo turuan. Oo. Oh. Bawat isa ang kapaglalapit ng kaluluwa kay Kristo. The only reason I see na hindi ka makapaglapit ng kaluluwa kay Kristo is because you yourself may not be saved. You yourself may still be lost. You yourself may still need instruction from the Lord. Ay, hindi, pastor. Ako saved na ako. Tiyak ako saved ako. Tiyak ako pupunta ako sa lahat. Well, I challenge you. I dare you. Speak up. Let others know. Isa ka sa maging mga agapagturo sa salita ng Diyos. Basic instruction. Let them know the way, the truth, and the life. Because no man cometh to God without getting to know who Jesus Christ is. This is Pastor Jess Marasigan at sana po tayo po ay mabubuhay with the instruction of the Word of God for us Christians to grow, for us Christians to get stronger, for us Christians to become mature in the faith. And as we learn, let's tell others about it. Let us share others. Parang sabi nga, ang soul winning is just like this. Isang beggar na nakatanggap ng makakain. A beggar who receive a bread and tells his fellow beggar where to get that bread. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. And there's plenty. Wala akong mauibusa if they will just come to our Lord Jesus Christ. Sana po, mga minamahal, patuloy tayong sumuporta sa Hope Goes On. Patuloy nating i-share para marami po ang makarinyo ng kaligtasan ni Christ Jesus. God bless each and everyone. At huwag po kayong manihinawa sa paglilingkod sa ating Panginoon Jesus. Tomorrow, Pastor Ferdy Marasigan will be sharing Proverbs chapter 6. Amen? To God be the glory.